Okay, race 19 on your card is the United House Gold Cup. It's a grade three chase of a two mile five furlongs. And the runners are as follows. So number one is Crunch Time. Two is Baltimore Raven. Three, Do Excellent. Four, Emma Wood. Five, Falling Through Clouds. Six, Frantic Belcor. Seven, Imperial Romanum. Eight, King George. Nine, Man Queen. Ten, Toad Hall. Goldilocks is 11. Jessica Rabbit is 12. Nina Bonita is 13. Sunhouse is 14. Sympathy for the Devil is 15. And number 16 is Tina's Apple. So six to be, 16 of them. And it's grade three, over two and a half, two, the extended two and a half miles, two mile five. Here at Ascot in the soft conditions. A little whiz around the course here. And the start of his orders and they're off. And we'll just wait to see how they settle down. They'll be coming up to the first fence. And it's sympathy the devil that rises first. Oh, we've lost one there. Baltimore Raven's gone. Unseated his jockey. Didn't get very far. And we're down one. So, let's see how we're going. It looks like Imperium Romanum wants to take them along here. Leads by a couple of lengths to the rest, which has just been followed through by Frantic Belcor. Falling through the clouds against the fence. The two in the further out wider sympathy for the Devil and Sun House. We come to the second. Everybody's over it. Straight into the third. Again, everybody's over it. And they all jumped it pretty well. And the Emma Wood from Alex Cherry didn't get over that one so well into a ditch. And again, everybody's over it. There were a couple of slow jumps at the rear by Tina's Apple and Nina Bonita. So it's Imperial Romanum that still leads us by a couple of lengths to Sympathy for the Devil and the Loose Horse Baltimore Raven. And then a couple of lengths ahead of the Chasers. Over the fifth. Oh, we've lost one there. Man Queen's gone. He's a fooler. And it's Darren Howes' horse. Unlucky, mate. No uh, fun ever going in the first circuit. So it's still Imperial Romanum that leads us by a couple of lengths to Sympathy of the Devil. Uh, further lengths back to Sun House. And Frantic before Belcor the Grey. The one on the fence there was falling through clouds that went through the top of that fence. So we're getting a little bit sticky now as we come alongside the grandstand. Uh, just one here now, which will be the last next time round. Uh, we're going to ride on board Du Excellent for Doug Warren. Sitting in 13th position, he's over that one. A bit of a slow jump. On the outside of him is, uh, I think that's Tina's Apple. And to his left, I think that'll be King George. But it's Du Excellent. 13 in front of him, or 12 in front of him, as they're going to pass the winning post. And you can see how close these jockeys ride together. Quite a good throw. And we're back to the main screen now. It's still Imperial Romanum that leads them. Although Goldilocks has come up to take a share of second with Sympathy for the Devil and the Sun House and the Grey Frantic Belcor. Falling through the clouds against the fence. And then there's Jessica Rabbit in the orange silks, the other Grey. They're being followed through by Toad Hall and Emma Wood. They take the eighth. Everybody's over it. Bit of a slow jump at the rear by Nina Bonita. But it's still Imperium Romanum that leads us by a couple of lengths to Sympathy for the Devil, Sun House, Goldilocks, Frantic Belcor, the first of the Greys. Then he's been followed through by Jessica Rabbit, the next Grey. They take the next. This, oh, and we've lost another one there. Tina's Apple's a fall up. Another one down. So it's uh, the Ascot fence is uh, certainly coming up trumps to these two. Well, and we've lost another one there, Du Excellent. We seem to have speeded up a little bit here. I'm not sure what's happened. The horse is going a lot faster all of a sudden. Um, we've got less than a, f a furlong to go. We're a um, bit confused. Sorry, guys. Uh, Du Excellent was a faller there as well. I missed that one, guys. Sorry, Doug. Anyway, it's Imperial Romanum that leads us by a couple of lengths to falling through the cowed Sun House, Goldilocks, Sympathy for the Devils there, Frantic Belcor, Crunch Time, the Grey Jessica Rabbit, they're followed through by Toad Hall, and we've got King George still in it, Emma Wood and Nino Bonita again a little bit detached at the moment, they're over the 12th, didn't take it particularly well, the leader there, Imperial Roman, into the 13th, and they've just... They're whizzing along here, and it's falling through the clouds that's taken up the lead now from Frantic Belcour. But a good jump there by Sympathy for the Devil. Then we've got Crunch Time falling through the clouds. 
We're through 14 now. I mean, we've only got less than five furlongs to run. And it's Frantic Belcourt, the grey that leads us. Just by half a length from Sympathy to the Devil. Crunch time on the outside. On the inside is falling through the clouds. They're all over the next. The 15th, it's gone. Sympathy to the Devil and Frantic Belcourt, the two that lead us into the bend and into the final straight with a couple left to jump. It's Sympathy to the Devil from Frantic Belcourt. Crunch time in third. Falling through crowds is starting to go backwards. Goldilocks plug in on Sun House. Toad Hall making up some good ground. As they approach the 16th, it's Sympathy to the Devil that takes it first. Sympathy the Devil now leads by a couple of lengths. We've only got two and a half furlongs left to run and one left to jump. And it's Sympathy for the Devil from Frantic Belcourt. Crunch time plugging on, falling through the clouds. Sunhouse, Toad Hall, Goldilocks. But it's Sympathy the Devil gets to the 17th and the last jumps it well and leads by a good couple of lengths from Frantic Belcourt in second. Crunch time and falling through the clouds are all going to fight out for the minor places. But I think Sympathy for the Devil is going to hang on to this here. Approaching just half a furlong left to run. It's Sympathy for the Devil will go behind the behind the board and it's it's sympathy to the devil from fast finishing crunch time third i think was frantic belcourt and i'm not sure what happened with the speed of the race there guys it definitely all took on a little bit so it's sympathy to the devil from while it's surfer that wins second was crunch time for leon van rensburg third was frantic belcourt for david robertson fourth was falling through the clouds joshua sutherland and the fifth place money goes to goldilocks for paul rhodes